Obviously extremely excited. Um, the state send-off is a highlight of my year every year because it's, it's fun to see all your students before you go. And they get, they get you really excited and super pumped. His coach has high praise for Logan, who carries a 4.7 GPA. It's intense, uh, very, very uh, aggressive. He's, co he's very coachable. He's a leader. Ah, uh, leader? He's tenacious. He just doesn't stop. Well, that much we've seen, yes, I, I concur. He's just an outstanding student, a role model. A role model now? Oh, Mike, you're starting to lose me. I think we should probably reel it in a little bit. He's just an outstanding leader in the program. I would take 14 of him every year. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Can you imagine 14 Logan Pauls running around with vlog cameras? Well, that would... That would be a proper hell on earth. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy. Polish sausage. Oh, <laughs> and welcome back to a new video, I guess. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your time, as always. And let's be honest with ourselves, though, for a second. Is there a better way to spend your time than watching a middle-aged corpulent fuckboy with terrible eating habits talk about Logan Paul for a little while? <laughs> yes. Yes, in fact, there's about a thousand things I can think of just off the top of my head that you should probably be doing instead, but that's, we'll worry about that a little bit later. So here's uh, the uh, breakdown. All of this stuff's been going on the past several months with uh, Logan Paul and KSI and, you know, Logan recovering from the incident in the suicide force in January and all this chatter, the press conferences, all oh, the cringy press conferences. And I'm not going to be like, oh, I, don't, I haven't talked about it because I don't care about it. Like, I, I find it interesting, to be honest with you. I think I th I've been following along with it. I just haven't really made videos about it until right now. But ya boy, Caveman Nystat, who still has me blocked on Twitter, by the way. <laughs> Dickhead. I uploaded a video <laughs> uploaded a video called the Logan Paul interview in which he interviews Logan Paul and it's 35 minutes long uh, it's been trending all day long on YouTube uh, but I think it touches on a lot of, of decent points I thought it was a pretty good interview just to kind of get a little candid look at what's going on and uh, I wanted to talk about some of the points that I thought were relevant to the conversation uh, just to clarify I actually really like Casey Neistat and I respect uh, the work that he does immensely he just blocked me like a year and a half ago on Twitter because I think I made like a Donald Trump meme with his face on it I, please unblock me please please Casey I'm begging you and it, it's now been a full week since I did the interview to be totally honest I wasn't sure I'm still not sure if releasing it is the right thing he and I have known each other for years we've always been friendly and I'm by putting this on my channel am I now part of the machine to re rehabilitate his image it's not what I want to do. That is not my intention, but could this be viewed as that? I, I don't know. He starts by talking about how conflicted he is at whether or not he should upload the interview because he doesn't want to be part of that machine that helps rehabilitate Logan's image. But at the same time, I mean, I don't, you can't like not give the guy an opportunity to talk publicly with people about it, right? Like I heard BBC recently like did an interview with Logan Paul and then they got so much they get so much blowback for giving Logan Paul a platform that they uh, they canceled the interview and didn't air it and said because it wasn't a good interview but we all know it's bullshit they canceled it because they got so much shit from the public the thing that I hope to learn my very specific intention with this interview was to see if he was sincere about what he's trying to accomplish with this documentary or if the whole thing's just a charade for good PR. I think that's probably a question a lot of people wish they knew the answer to, but no one's ever going to really know the true motivations behind this documentary or what he's trying to do, uh, except for Logan himself. What is this documentary? Yeah, so it's not a documentary about how dang hard my life has been this year. It's about the story of a young man from Ohio, a, a seemingly regular kid, being me of course, falling into the social media machine over the past four years, building an audience, um, garnering false power through views, which equates to money, which equates to, again, success, and then essentially losing it all overnight, becoming the most hated man in the world in the snap of a, of a finger. So, Okay, the most hated man in the world might be a bit of an exaggeration, Basically, the mainstream just realized that you were a bit of an insensitive cunt. What went wrong in my life 
that I thought that was a good idea? And that is a tremendous question because I think at the time when the suicide force thing happened at the beginning of the year, everybody was like, what the fuck would make anybody think it's okay to do what you just did? And obviously the answer is, you know, like he said, you know, I fell into the social media machine and you're just getting views and you have all this perceived power and influence and all these yes men and millions of people liking and commenting and encouraging you, encouraging you that you completely lose sight of what it means to be human and you think of only content and only controversy and only clicks to the point where <laughs> filming a fucking suicide victim and like laughing and turning it into this complete charade didn't strike you as something you shouldn't do. So uh, <sighs> everything was going so well. And I got so caught up with my actions being validated by millions of people. I forgot to be a human being in that situation and instead decided to be a content creator. I thought that was a very interesting statement and, and pretty accurate. I think when you're someone like Logan Paul at the top of their game and you have, you know, you're the fastest growing channel on YouTube and you have millions and millions of people constantly watching every single day and the ego the size of a fucking Hindenburg, right? That you lose, you lose touch with humanity. You lose the empathy that the normal human interaction might, might get you because you're looking at life upside down through this lens that only sees either content or not content and everything in between is is a wash. Do you, would you characterize this as a, a redemption story? It's an attempted redemption story, is what it is. That's it. Are we still talking about the doc? Yeah, the doc. That, I mean, that's what it is. The Logan Paul redemption story. One man's journey to the brink of destruction and back to a well-lived, meaningful life. Or a bullshit PR piece to help get back a couple of sponsors that you lost. I, I don't know. I mean, you decide. What do you think it is? But there hasn't been much since then. There hasn't been much that's demonstrated you're a different person. You talked about positivity and being a different person and changing the structure of the channel. And then it was days later, you're shooting a dead mouse. So yeah. what what have you done to demonstrate you've changed as a person? The rat, the rat was... Rat. Yeah, the rat was... That was me becoming obsessed with the idea of being a villain. So Casey does a pretty good job, I think, of grilling him with some decent questions. And Logan has an okay answer to some things, and other answers seem a little bit scripted. Wasn't that a direct contradiction to everything you had just put out about how you're changing and how you're a different person? Yeah. The videos were it, inside of a week. Yeah, I know, but I'm also still the guy who takes things to extremes. That's, I mean, that's, that's who I am. That's the brand of Logan Paul. It's... The fastest, the gayest, the biggest, the cuntiest, the greatest, the gay, 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 Fuck uncensored out of his mouth. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, say it again, you family friendly PG clean prick. The fuck? Oh, that feels good. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a good uncensored fuck to rustle my jimmies. Now my work is much more about creative motivation. It's much less about, like, I don't care about views. Fighting for elephancy doesn't make sense. I don't care about that. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't care as much about views either if I sold my company to CNN for $25 million. <laughs> I wouldn't care about views as much if I didn't have to slave away in the restaurant industry to put food on the table. Papa's gotta eat! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously. Like, what did you learn in that month off? Fuck, say something smart, Logan. Say empathy, say self-control, say something. Whatever you do, don't say nothing. It's my big day! The month off was a step for me to once again... Yeah, 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 neat, neat stuff, Logan. Can we get to the fight stuff, please? You're fighting KSI. What is the it's fight? It's true. What is the fight? I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna beat his ass. I was over it. Like, I, I, as soon as I walked in the press conference, I was like, okay, this... I'm just over the talk, Casey, to be honest. It's all, it's all Fugazi. It's Fugazi. 
It's time to fight. <laughs> I got to agree with Logan Paul on this one. The whole press conference bullshit and like this trash talking and this superficially hyped up bullshit to sell out crowds to sit down and watch people fucking talk shit to each other. It's so stupid. I get why they do it. I get, you know what I'm saying? It's building hype for the fight. You're making money. You're building hype. But it's just like they're KSI and Deji like they're not good at it it's just it's cringy and difficult to watch and I like what Logan says here he's like just shut the fuck up and wait till August 25th put your head down train and then we'll see what happens on the 25th and what's next for me is honestly probably just content creation businesses I can answer this question with a hundred things but all that fucking matters to me right now is the fight August 25th get your tickets link in bio <laughs> All right. Um. So they wrap the interview up. Logan's clearly focused on the fight. And I, I've been thinking about this fight the past couple months. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only what it means for the YouTube community and what it means for boxing and entertainment in general, uh, you know, f for the mere fact that this has the potential to, to be the biggest pay-per-view event of all time. And uh, I've been thinking about who's going to win and who I like, essentially who I like less. Do I like Logan Paul less or like KSI less? And I don't really typically care for e either of them, but I think Logan Paul uh, is going to beat KSI's ass. And here's a couple of reasons why I think that. Physicality. Logan is taller, heavier, and has a longer reach than KSI. Logan has a successful wrestling background from high school. Tense. Uh very, very uh, aggressive. And sure, wrestling's not necessarily boxing, but there's a lot of correlations and reason to believe that someone who was a good wrestler would be a better boxer than someone who was not. And we also saw KSI fight Joe Weller already, and sure, he's been training a lot more since that fight, but it just didn't look like KSI's just not a great boxer. And lastly, and I think most importantly, one of the reasons Logan is going to win this fight is because he has way more on the line, and not necessarily objectively, speaking they neither of them have more to lose than the other except for a little bit of pride maybe but i think to logan this fight means a lot more because he's coming from this background with the whole incident in january and trying to recover his rehabilitate his image and now this fight is that apex where if he can go and he can win this fight in front of millions and millions of people watching worldwide it will somehow help put him into the next chapter of his life. I think that's probably how he's thinking of it. And I think that mindset, that drive, is one of the main reasons why Logan's going to win this fight. I'm even planning to put a C note on the line that says Logan Paul wins this fight. And you know what? I'm putting my money on the line that I'm taking it fucking, that I'm, I'm, I'm very dead serious about this. Logan Paul KO in the fourth quote me. But the interview is interesting and I think Casey does a pretty good job at drawing him out and I'm not really a big Logan Paul fan and this does nothing to vindicate him of any of his past transgressions but uh, I, I appreciate his efforts at being earnest and trying to be vulnerable and talk about the situation and uh, you know he's vilified as like the worst person on the planet right this antichrist terrible example figure for kids which some partly is true but he's just a kid he's not the worst person in the world right he's made a few missteps but uh you know i'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt maybe make this into a redemption story this fight on the 25th he's gonna win that shit and then it's fucking logan paul on everyone's television sets the new fucking Who's a good who's a good example to compare him? The new Dwayne Johnson, beloved Hollywood star, highest paid actor on the planet that can do no wrong. No, I certainly, I certainly don't think that's actually going to happen. Listen, guys, my wife's due date is a week from today. She is ready to burst and I'm just kind of sitting around anxiously waiting, uh, anticipating the arrival of my son, and it's uh, it's driving me crazy a little bit. I can't wait to meet him, but uh, so I don't know. I'm sorry if the video went a little bit long and I rambled. My head's kind of in a in a different space right now, uh, and I don't know when it's going to happen. It could happen this week. It could go past the due date and happen the following week. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and keep the content coming uh, like I normally do. Uh, and if you want to see some updates on kind of the the personal side of things. You can check out the second channel in the link in the description. I'm going to be trying to get some footage, you know, some befores and some afters uh, of the whole experience. Um, and I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
And uh, for some, I get a lot of comments. You, uh, you've probably seen me drink out of like this Fiji bottle, right? Um, I get these free from work. I occasionally can take one home because they serve where I work. They have them and I, I get to have them. But I typically, I refill these with filtered water uh, out of my fridge. So this one, I've had this bottle for like three months, refilling it with filtered water. So all you fucking eco-friendly hipster, oh, the fucking plastic water bottles are ruining the oceans. All of the seals are fucking 69ing and gagging and dying because of your fucking water bottles. No, no, I don't buy them. I take them and I refill them. So shut the fuck. Alrighty, if you could go ahead and just hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Oh, that would be so nice. And if you could subscribe if you're new, that would mean the world to me. I swear to God, I don't make many videos on Logan Paul. Sometimes they're actually good. All right, we'll see you in the next one. And bye-bye. <laughs>